Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and this is Unreal World. And we are back here at our cabin that is now complete. It is a wonderful sight to behold. Look at the interior. Look at this. I've even gone and built a fine club, and I've dropped it right here on our table. That was a recommendation from one of the most loyal commenters and viewers I've got. Thank you, Donald. I appreciate that, my friend. And so we've got the fine club here for beating out any of the uh, so, uh, soaked, yeah. When, no, no, when they get to this point, they'll be rinsed fur. So when we get a rinsed fur, hopefully a big one, like an elk for, fur or maybe even a bear fur, that'd be cool. But then I would use that fine club and I don't even need to have it on me. I can just leave it there permanently and it will be the club we use. And it's fine quality will hopefully contribute to a better quality overall fur which is the goal you know that's the whole goal speaking of crafting i'm uh getting prepared to do some blacksmithing today's episode is all about the blacksmithing and no i'm not talking about the most recent update no 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 not at all so we are going to boop. We're going to be crafting up, oh, I don't know. You know what? I think I actually have a spearhead. I want to get a spear created. We'll definitely be making that, whether I have to actually smelt the spearhead or not. I swear I made one at one point just because. Uh, there it is. Iron spearhead. Boom. All right. So let's make that our first task. Now, I have a feeling I'll probably need some cordage, too um and that's one thing like if you've got multiples like i can say i can use my axe my broad axe that's at my feet to split firewood but if i've got a two dozen different kinds of cord then you're going to need to pick up the specific items when you go into craft something so you know just because you have something laying at your feet doesn't necessarily mean it will all be auto selected nor do you necessarily want that to happen because it might select something that's not as good a quality as what you would have chosen but um or vice versa anyway so let's grab Ooh, i don't have a lot we'll just grab the six footer there all right i don't really know what the recipe is for this i just assume it'll need some ooh, what's the northern spear birch root birch root is root for what basket something two pot point we got the uh, leather i have the whetstone birch root well okay let me go get some birch root now hold on a second I think there is some birch trees over here. I have been cutting them down a lot because they do produce uh, the logs that I needed for my cabin. But if we head into the forest, we might find one. In fact, I see a couple alder trees. Is that a birch right there? Straight ahead here. Boom. Birch tree. Okay, let's zoom in on that baby. Yeah, there's a couple around here too. So let's go ahead and position ourselves next to it. Now I have no idea how to acquire this stuff, but if we come to our crafting, actually wait, I think I should be maybe under, not hide working, timber craft here. Now this is more of the vanilla menu, like, you know, the, the standard version of the game. I don't think it's here. I don't see it. Well, let me go ahead and see if I can discover it in this long list. Well, unfortunately, I am having a very hard time finding it. So I think we might retreat back to the shelter and let's see what a regular spear requires us to have on hand. I don't know what the birch root is. I mean, I almost came back and decided to dig with my shovel like at the root of the tree, but I don't think that would do it. Uh, nonetheless, it's going to be in one of these sub menus. I'm not sure. Oh, that's frustrating, but that's a really good spear, the northern spear, but there is this one here. This is just, a, just your regular average spear, but if we put a lot of good quality materials, oh, I do have everything here. I have a staff already made. I made a couple. This is a really simple recipe. I mean, once you've got the spearhead created, which don't get me wrong, that in and of itself is a, a long, laborious process. Just getting iron smelting up and running. If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, it, I might be making it look easy, but you can see we've got several different things set up. There's two forges there. We've also got a, an, a stone anvil here, which weighs 1,200 pounds, apparently. And I've got a whole bunch of tools and stuff. You know, we had to bootstrap ourselves up from wood and stone, and, but we are here. We, in fact, as you can see, we now have a nice, where is it, spear? Well, it's not nice. It's just average, but I am now wielding a spear. 
You can't see it, but it's there. Trust me, I have it. I've got a longbow in one hand and a spear in the other. We have officially done it, folks. This is it. Don't worry, we're not done with the series. I'm just, I'm just bragging right now because I feel proud of all the work we've put into this guy. So I really don't want the spear on me, but um, let's see now. I'm thinking about maybe going on a little hunting excursion. It's getting cooler, which is not a bad thing. But I don't think we have enough snow. No, there's definitely not enough snow to be skiing or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's just I feel like a hunt is always a fun thing to do. Now, crafting's also fun. As you can see, I've still got a whole bunch of iron and things like that. Let's actually take a quick look. Um, if I wanted to, say, make an iron helmet. Yeah, there it is. Spectacle helm. What would we need? Iron helm. Usually one you made. Oh, so I have to start with the iron helm. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to iron and wood. And the spectacle, I don't know. I think that's the one with the nose piece. I'm not sure. Okay, iron. Oh, we need the dome. And then steel to shape. The iron nails and rivets. Oh, a ball iron hammer. Oh, wow. Pliers, which I also don't have. I have a, a hammer, but it's not the ball hammer, which is a special kind. That's what gives it the, the rounded shape, you know, so you can pound it, pound it out and have a curved surface. Um, pliers that we need to make. We do have an anvil. It's not the best. Like I said, it's a stone one, but I guess there could be worse. Not really. You just couldn't have one. But uh, medieval drill. So virtually all of these things will need to be crafted. So that's a no. I don't think we're going to be able to make the helmet. That means we should probably just go ahead and do a little hunting. I think that's... Now, let me see what I'm wearing, actually. Okay, do I want all the stuff? I am going to keep the spear with me now, because my guy's an excellent spear warrior, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, so if we were to, for instance, stumble upon some robbers or something who wanted to take all my finely crafted, handmade goods here, we would fight them off with that spear for sure at some point. But um, I'd probably take a few shots with my longbow. That being said, I'm getting I'm getting pumped. I'm getting amped up here. Now, whoops, I walked into our settlement again. Uh, now I kind of want to run into some raiders just to see what happens. But no, no, we're trying to avoid it. All human interaction is being avoided here in our hermit's playthrough. But uh, I am going to come up here and hopefully interact with, uh, not a badger, but with a uh, seal. Yes, that's right. See, you can actually see now there is ice along the coast. That's that white stuff there. That's It's very light, so we couldn't walk on this. Yeah, it's too thin for us to walk on. We'd fall in and die, but uh, it's still there, and you can see that it's this is it. This There's no more ice that's going to spread at this point. This is locked in. So what that means is this one little spot here is actually has access to the ocean year-round. It doesn't ice over. And there are some spots like that, even on rivers, you can find rapids and things like that. So what we did was he came down here earlier in the year and we made ourselves one, two, three, four, five traps. It's kind of hard to see them, but they're all along the coast and there's one up here at the top. None of them have any animals in it though, but uh, that's okay. The pit traps are actually, believe it or not, extremely easy. As long as you've got a good shovel, it won't take you long. You just build the or dig the hole. Uh, you don't build the hole. You dig it, and then you build some sticks and leaves and cover on top of it and throws a little piece of food in the middle, and something will step on it eventually, but just not today. Oh, there it is, folks. The sight every hunter wants to see. Can you see it? They're camouflaged pretty well. It's right in front of me. There it is. The shit materializes in the early morning mist as we spot a group of reindeer. At least I hope it's a group. Uh, but, oh my, yeah, baby, it's a group. I can literally reach out and touch this. You know, ancient Native Americans used to do something called counting coup, which would manifest itself in many different forms. But it was a kind of series of bragging rights that the warriors would do to test each other. And one of the things is they would creep up behind a group of reindeer or deer, and they would try and touch one of the deer with their bare hand and then just leave it, run away without striking the animal. So we're going to count a little coup right now. Oh, she got away. The last step, she felt my touch. My hand reached out for her rump, but she ran. So now I will take a shot at her. 
There we go. No coup today, but hopefully we'll get some din din. I'm going to go for the headshot, even though she's kind of facing away. Nice. It did hit her. Suffering from serious cut in the neck. That's a, that's a pretty bad injury. Let's um, put the speed on. Let's start running. We've left. Yep. Yeah. Oh, she's bleeding. You can see her dropping puddles of blood. She's also breaking off, broke off from the pack, but she is fast. I'm not going to give up running just yet. I want to keep up with her away, which is kind of absurd to say that. But there she is. Okay. Well, I'm going to slow down for a second. Remember, we got to keep our endurance. And even though there's not a lot of snow, we're not skiing. I still can't run myself to death. Otherwise, this whole hunt is in vain. But she might drop of her own. She's slightly fatigued. Serious cut. She is bleeding. We've seen that. Okay. She's, she's, got, she's on to me. Let me grab another arrow. Oof. Ah, uh, damn. I want to. I want to keep running. I also want to gain a little bit of my stamina back. So I'm just gonna walk here. It's very hard to see her tracks, isn't it? Where the? Hell? I don't even see him now. Hold on. I gotta zoom in. I lost him right back here. Right there. Oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. See, I split off on the wrong direction. I was assuming. And I made a horrible blunder. Now she's turned. Okay. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I'm see I'm following her tracks closely now. Obviously, she's trying to get back to her her pack. And she's gonna get there. Most likely. But that's okay. She could still probably be fatigued. And she's definitely still gonna be injured. Oh, okay, so there's tracks all around me. We've returned to the original spot where we encountered her so because i just noticed the blood up here let me zoom out damn they're not there hold on that's that doesn't mean anything necessarily in fact i'm going to go ahead and sp spot this here as deer there we go so it is now marked right where i'm standing the other marks are like my shelter and some yeah some mining areas but uh this is the happy hunting ground so let me go ahead and go into stealth again i'm gonna just track around here it's very early still you can see i've actually got very limited vi uh, visibility here because of the early hours of the day so that's not ideal it's not perfect time for this in fact i should probably I, oh there they are see them split up there's two groups that's interesting they're all over the place now okay so we're back to the original spot oh there there's one is that her it's her she got my arrow stuck in her neck. She's definitely not going to bleed out. I'm going to start running. I'm sprinting at her. She's definitely gonna, not going to bleed out from that. Oh, is that her right there? No, that's not her. But even though she, it's not a fatal wound, I think we can still get her. So let me stop running here because I'm not sure where she's at. There she is. I bet that's her. Don't be afraid to look at your target. There it is. Only slightly fatigued, but I'm going to keep on her. Run to the place where you saw her last. Then follow the tracks. I know that going into stealth actually slows me down quite drastically, but I'm trying to regain that endurance, you know. And we'll turn on the boosters again when we spot her. But uh, it does give her more time to get away, possibly. Where the hell did her tracks go? Just, oh, she took a turn. Where you at? There they are. Hmm. No worries. We're on her. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, down this way. Okay, well, they're getting mixed. Yeah, there's tracks everywhere. Damn. All right. Let's see. There they are. We're okay. Let's do it. Keep encountering them. That's yeah, it's tedious, but... This is how a real hunt is, you know? Honestly, it's nothing like a real hunt. <laughs> you'd probably have multiple people with you, and you'd wait for the animals to come to you, but I don't know how the Stone Age peoples did it necessarily. I think that they did run them down and do, like, attrition hunting, so to speak, where they would just uh, wear the animal out because humans have incredible endurance when they're walking. So, And we naturally frighten the animals, so they can just put one spear in them, 
or one arrow and then it, while it's bleeding because in real life an animal with a wound like that would eventually bleed out you know if it's in the neck it's not just going to heal up seal the arrow over i mean it might but it would get infected eventually but nonetheless you get the point and i think that uh we've lost him so let me spend a little bit more time in the area just zooming around here looking for him it's unfortunate sometimes it's just the look of the draw okay well interestingly enough i left that area and moved down towards my home this my my shelter and cabin is directly to the south we're on the face of my mountain here and there's another pack it might be the same one. I'm not 100%. It's just I happened to see the animal pop up, and it was right next to my camp. So I just came to the camp and encountered them, basically. Came up, and there they are. But no, I don't see the injured one. I think it's another group. That's a lot of animals around here that's cool, though. Let's go for it. The only problem is uh, I didn't really... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I brought that up. I didn't really select this area so much for its hunting I mean, the general vicinity is good, but immediately here where my shelter is kind of surrounded by some mountainous areas, but we'll see. We'll give it our best. So let me move in a little closer. Take a show. There's four of them. Maybe, we're, maybe one of them is there now. Let me look at them again. Like I said, never be afraid to just look at your prey, especially when you're actively hunting them, but no. No, I guess it's possible they could have gotten down here, but... I don't think it's the same group. There's like six of them now. Dang. All right, let's go. Just going to pick one of them off. Oh, I'm not even sure if one of them got hit or not. Oh, it did. Holy crap. I think I missed my target. Yeah, I definitely missed my target, but uh, I crippled that one. All right, we're going into sprint mode. I got to run around this lake there. I shouldn't have put my... Oh, wow. Look at that i can literally keep up with it that boy is seriously injured okay that's good news until it runs me to death no 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 we're good okay it just lost another step on me so what i mean is i could tell i could see that i actually gained on it a little bit while i'm running and it's running so it's very fatigued so i can literally stop running now oops i'm gonna stop running i'm going to wield my hand axe just because the spear, the only reason I'm not wielding the spear right now, so even though we just made it, this is more for like, you need two hands. So I would need to take my longbow off to really effectively use the spear. And even though it's my better weapon, I'm still pretty good with the axe, but regardless, let's get on it. Now she is very tired. She's breathless. I guarantee at this point she's done. Okay, we got her. Boy, that was a crazy shot too, because I used the fouling arrow. Which is, if you've missed it, that's like the first arrow we crafted. It's a very cheap arrow. It's like, not cheap. It's just a short range, like for small game kind of arrow. Thing stuck right in her neck. What's up with our neck shots? Is that where it hit her? No, it was the right shoulder. Okay, it wasn't a neck shot again. Well, that was still pretty good. All right, let's do it. Uh, so hand axe, blunt to the legs. I always go blunt so that I don't damage the fur. You know, the skin itself, you start stabbing these things. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So repeat it with the three button. So it'll just repeat the last attack. And I just, oh, there we go. So we've crippled its legs. It's not unconscious. So what I'm going to do now is uh, hit two again to strike it with a unique attack. A blunt attack to the head. Now it's unconscious. So I can do blunt to the skull, which it's just the coup de grace, the killing blow. So what it's telling you now, since it's whenever it's animal or human's unconscious, you get a special set of list of commands there. So let's... Uh, Finish it off. It's it's a long process. Animal like this just can't be killed with one blow to the skull, apparently. It takes like two dozen. <laughs> okay, it's dead. All right, so how big is it? We can actually pick this thing up and carry it. That's crazy. So, okay, and literally my shelter is right here. Oh, there's the deer pack. You can see they're still there. Dude, that's deer in our backyard. I said just a moment ago... Um, <clears throat> Oh my god. I was just going to say that a moment ago I was saying that was what a hunter wants. Like the best thing you could see. Like a group of deer in your backyard. But this is literally deer in my backyard, guys. This is nuts. So what I'm going to do is drop the deer. Wield, um, find fouling arrow. Oh my god, get out of my blacksmithing stuff. 
He's trying to steal my hard-earned iron. Boom. Got one. Minor puncture. Think my fouling arrow's a joke? What about this fine broadhead coming at you? Oh, right over the top. Dang it. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to separate those, this girl from the pack. I'm coming for you. I'm running. Did I drop? Uh, I did. Okay, yeah. I dropped it. Okay. Made sure to drop that other carcass because that's too big of a load. That's going to definitely him. Oh, there she is. No, no. Is that her? That's going to hinder our running ability, having a 300 pound or 200 pound doe on our back. That's not her. She's still ahead of us, I think. I'm not even chasing tracks at this point. I don't know where I'm going. I need to stop running. Okay. I need to pick her track. Oh, there she is. She's on the ice. That's her. 100%. Nope, not her. <laughs> what the flip? Um, okay, it ain't her. Yeah, well, maybe that's her down there. Wait, Jesus Christ, they're all over the place, guys. This is nuts. I don't want to just start willy-nilly and taking shots. Yeah, there she is. At these animals, you know, we will eventually hunt as many as we can get our sights on, but it's more efficient, more respectful to the animal to just pick one. Don't start shooting arrows all over the place unless you've like completely lost one of their comrades into the woods or something. This group is like still out in the fields or whatever. You do what you got to do, but that's how I like to play it. Okay, so let's go. She's slightly fatigued, which is not great. My fatigue level is about 50% now. Oh, God, they're going out onto the ice. I'm not going to fall. Whoops. I'm not going to follow them out there. It doesn't mean I'm not going to chase these boys, but there's no way I can walk on that ice. I guarantee it would crack my fat butt went out there so see we're now getting into the forest here it's a light forest because it's on the side of a mountain but i can't even go into stealth they can clearly see me or their their friends behind them can see me okay she, and now i'm stealth she's come out here southeast interesting she's on the slopes and over the uh, oh, oh, oh. Is that her? It's one of her friends. Ah. Now let's follow them. Uh, Ten to one, they'll group up eventually if we give them enough, you know, leeway and time. So she might, she will try to return to her pack. There's the tracks. Oh, this is tough. Mountain hunting. Oh, okay. Is that the small one? I mean, and again, if I feel I've lost her or she's just too far and there's a better target, I will shoot it, but... Or, well, if I had an arrow on me, I probably would be better off. But um, Or I'll just try and fatigue it down, you know, without taking a shot at it. Which is better. That's always better. If you can get into fatigue without shooting, 100%. If you play your cards right. And you got a good terrain set up. Really, that's key for me. You know, having a nice open field and stuff. But, oh boy, let's see here. <laughs> Where did they go? I'm losing tracks. Again, I'm just kind of wandering in my own direction here. Ah, it's okay. Listen, I'm getting greedy, too. That's also another thing I'm doing, because we've got a perfectly good deer carcass. Where is it? It's, um... Where did I drop it? There it is. Okay, it's right here. So, let's just go with what we've got. You know, this is a good one. Very good kill, right? So, I don't have my water set up perfectly yet. We still have to come down here to the pond. Look, the freaking deer are mocking me. Their tracks are everywhere. Uh, I'm going to get them. We're going to get more of them, though. So what I am going to do is go ahead and process this little girl up here. We're going to get all the meat. We're going to dry it because obviously it's nice and cold. The air is dry. You can set this up right next to the cabin. and It'll take about 20 days or whatever, but uh, it's the best form of preservation. And hopefully in the end, it doesn't turn out like this awful dried <laughs> wild boar cut. My poor guy here, he's been eating the awful stuff. This is the stuff I've got left over from like last season and a half ago. Basically when we first started the game, I think essentially. So it's getting pretty ripe, but nonetheless, we've got to go through it, you know? So anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody coming by. Tune in for the next one. We're definitely going to be doing some more deer hunting, probably some more crafting, and eventually we will attack our attackers. So thanks for joining me. Hit that like button, everybody, and I will see you on the next one.